Hey everybody, we're the Nano UANL team from the Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León in Monterrey, Mexico. And we're here today to talk to you about an approach to understand chemical reactions in confined space. Through the use of mathematical modeling and computer simulations, our team studied the model case of silver nanoparticles, which are made inside a viral cage. The chosen virus has well-known properties and structures, making it easier to understand how things work at a very, very small scale. Alright, you may be wondering what mathematical models or computer simulations are, and how do they work? These are complicated concepts to understand, so first, we'll start off by answering the question, what exactly is a confined space, and why is it worth studying? A confined space is an area similar to the inside of a safe. This place is protected from all that happens outside. In our model, this area is the inside space of the virus. So, the next question would be, is there any application for confined spaces? Well, the answer would be yes, there are. One of these applications is the making of complex materials. In this category, we can find materials that have unique functions that can be programmed, as well as new methods for producing many complicated identical structures by means of self-assembly and hybrid materials that take inspiration from living organisms, such as bacteria. But wait! There's more applications, like drug delivery, one-pot multi-step reactors, and nano-sensors, among many others. We modeled the behavior of an enzyme inside the virus, studying the formation of a silver nanoparticle, considering the virus as a chemical reactor. The enzyme makes the silver atoms assemble together to form these particles we studied the speed at which these events occur. For this, mathematical models and computer simulations were done both with MATLAB and BMD. We hope that you liked our approach to studying nanoreactors and found the topic as interesting as we did. For more detailed information, visit our wiki at Open Wetware. On behalf of the Nano UANL team and the Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León, Thank you for watching.